Well, good morning. Here we have a Cat 950 loader that we uh, just recently siped some tires. It turned out pretty good. I'll uh, put up another video of that. But today we are going to do some hard facing on the bucket. I usually do this with a MIG, but that welder is no longer. So given given the old stick a try, we'll see how that goes. Made a uh, homemade fume extractor. We'll see how long that hose lasts before it melts. Plan on doing the base course of this uh, 7018. 8th inch and then I've had this for a very long time I'm hoping that it will still work one of the great things about uh, living in Alaska is when you want to do one thing you typically have to do several others especially in the winter time so for today the uh, welder that I have is gas powered and it is winter out so uh, in order to get it running I had to get here and on and on and on luckily pretty nice heater here hopefully she fires right up pretty good old welder when she works let's see if she goes choke on Nothing's ever as easy as it seems. Looks like there is no fuel. But I just put fuel in it, so gas. Right there. So it's just not getting up there. Interesting. Might have some ice in the bottom of the tank there, so I'll just let this heater stay on there for a while and put, put some heat in it and give it a go. Always exciting times. Alright, we got that welder going, so she's running good. Start by doing a uh, base pass and then cover it all with the hard facing. Here's the plan. And then we'll go ahead and shape the form, especially the welder. But I do enjoy doing stuff that isn't structural or not as much. The idea behind doing this is this edge here gets very thin, too thin to. Uh, be able to bolt this replaceable cutting edge. So you have to build it up and then it'll wear longer and the last longer is the hope. So I don't know how well this vacuum cleaner is going to work, but you never know. Might be lucky. Alright, we'll start by doing the
Well, here we are. We got the base layer of 7018 down. Pretty happy with it. Didn't uh, get too crazy on the line. Sometimes I found if it was hard to see, I'd pull the arc length up a little bit, especially when I was going over one of these. It's hard to see where the line was. I pulled the arc length up a little bit and you could just kind of see it because that was definitely part of the problem was trying to follow the lines. And I've seen some buckets where they do one of those unintentionally. But uh, yeah, I'm curious to see how that uh, hard facing, how much it's going to stick up on there. Obviously it'll stick up, but I wonder how tall it'll look. But I guess we will find out momentarily. Well, that uh, turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Looks like it stood right up on there. There's uh, quite a bit of, uh, I don't know, sixteenth of an inch or so sticking up. So that should give uh, quite a bit of wear time. So I gotta touch it up again. That rod was definitely old. Get down to. Uh, halfway through it and it would, I don't know, the electrode would burn up into it and the flux was, I don't know what's going on, I'm really well with a bad rod, but I imagine that's what happens to it. Um, on this stuff I I just did a drag with the 7018 and uh, that worked really well. On the hard facing I did a very small whip seem to lay down a little better versus just dragging it. I tried dragging and it uh, kind of balled up. Works so well. But yeah, right on. That is bucket hard facing. Let me know what you think. Any uh, tips that I could use in the future are appreciated.